Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. Today we are gonna, you know, just enjoy one of the, one of the 365 days of January with a budget meal. Today's episode of Bodine Pot is sponsored by Showman E Bistro, your budget-friendly meal kit. You can feed your family of four or more seven meals per person in a week using Showman E Bistro's curated meal kits that take you on an international trip every single week. Get all of your sauces, your seasonings, your spices, specialty items, protein, carbohydrates, and of course your produce, all in one convenient meal kit that keeps you from running to the grocery store every two seconds, especially during the month of January. Show Manny Bistro reopens January 25th, and of course you can enjoy all of their offerings by going to showmanebistro.com. All right, y'all, so now y'all know we cook in a budget-friendly meal, right? Well, I'm gonna say a budget-friendly meal, but we're gonna start with the first dish. The first dish that we cook in today is corn and rice now I know some of y'all may not be excited about corn and rice corn and rice <laughs> you know that easy to make but for some people it may not be something that is easy and of course the recipe varies based on which island you grew up on so I'm gonna make my version the version that you know has meat in it I'm gonna pull that piece of ham back that ham fat from off the Christmas ham that I put in the back of the fridge because you don't waste things like that. You gotta use the whole part of the animal, the bone for broth, the meat for eating, and of course the fat for flavoring. That's it. Now, let's get this recipe started. Any good cook knows that the flavor of the food comes from the fat you use, and it doesn't matter what kind of fat. But for this one, we're using two tablespoons of butter, and then we're gonna use two strips of chopped bacon, okay? That bacon fat and corn goes together perfectly. From here, we're gonna reach into the back of our freezer, and we're gonna take out that pork fat back. You know that pork fat back that you save from the Christmas turkey and the Christmas ham? Well, that's what you're gonna use. And that is gonna add a, a whole different Different level of flavor and juiciness to the rice so the rice is not gonna be dry it's gonna be delicious and you want to keep that in mind we're not adding any salt yet and that's the first step our second step is to cook our herbs. We have one cup of diced onions, and then we're also gonna add half a cup of diced sweet pepper. You can also add another half a cup of diced celery. That would be perfect in here. Celery adds a sweetness to this. And we're going to put in some aromatics, which are going to include thyme. If you have oregano, you can throw that in here as well. It all depends on your personal taste preference, okay? From here, we're gonna take the full can of corn. So I just want you guys to know, in, including the water, because there's a lot of flavor and salt in the water. I want you guys to know that when you cook, you can salt as you go. We're adding two tablespoons of onion powder, and we're gonna add a bouillon cube, which is another source of flavor, but it's also another source of salt. Now we're going to add our rice. I'm using basmati rice because this is the rice that I had available to me, but you can use any rice, parboiled, brown rice, black rice, wild rice if you'd like um, brown rice, but keep in mind, you're gonna have to change the amount of water based on the type of rice that you're cooking. In this recipe, if you noticed, I am only gonna add half a cup of water to this because I want this rice to steam. We're gonna bring this rice to a boil and then we're going to allow the water to steam out. And if we need any additional water, we'll add it as we go to keep the rice from being dry but it won't be because we have good fat and now we're adding two bay leaves to this pot while this pot is boiling I just want to bring to everybody's attention sometimes people ask me well why aren't you using a whole lot of salt well there's a thing you have salt inside the pork salt in the bacon if you're not using unsalted butter then there's salt in the butter there's salt in the bouillon cube definitely a whole lot of salt in the corn and sometimes salt <laughs> As you can see, it sneaks in. So what you wanna do is you wanna taste as you go. And I've only added two teaspoons of salt to this because I realized I didn't use broth in this and I didn't use a lot of bouillon cubes, but we wanted to have flavor without being salty. 
I was a whole adult when I learned that you steam rice. So a bit earlier, you see that after I let the rice come to a boil and most of the water evaporated, I put the stove on low. And it got me to this point about 10 to 15 minutes later. What you wanna do is you wanna steam it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing what some people call fluffing the rice. And again, I was an adult when I realized that you fluff the rice to let the steam that's gonna continue to cook the rice and make it soggy out. I mean, come on, we learn things today, eh? This rice could be good though. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Bodine Pot. It was my pleasure bringing to you this bacon ham filled, corn filled, caramelized onion filled episode. That is very budget friendly. A can of corn will cost you about $2. You can get two cups of rice, especially if you buy it large, um, a large amount all in one. Onions can range anywhere from 35 cents to up to 50 cents. And sweet peppers, maybe about a dollar, depending on if you get it from the neighborhood lady or if you get it from the grocery store. So pass all of that, just go and get your Showman eBistro meal kit at showmanebistro.com. And if you don't feel like cooking this January because you budgeted yourself, good, good, good. And you weren't you trying to save, but you're trying to, you know, watch what you spend when you go out, no problem. You can build your own meal kit. You can get your appetizers, that's a soup or a salad, or maybe both. You can have them as an add-on. Your entree, ranging from vegetarian to uh, pescatarian and omnivoric. That means everybody is eat everything options, plus a wine. And uh, coming soon, we got some desserts for you. Go to showmanebistro.com to build your own meal kit today. If you enjoyed today's recipe, I'm gonna see you this week, Wednesday, for the second drop of the week. That's right. I decided to make steam conk to go with this recipe. We're doing the steam conk episode to go along with this. That's gonna be released on Wednesday, so check is <laughs> check is check it out this week, Wednesday, right here on Bodine Pot on YouTube. Go for the measurements to bodinepot.com if you want to read up on my thoughts behind developing the recipe. And of course, follow us on Bodine Pot Show on Instagram and Facebook. But if you want to follow me, I'm Bodine Victoria across all your social media platforms. Go check it out, get some inspiration, some Bahamian culture, some music updates, and more. All right, okay, it's time to go. And uh, don't forget, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot.